All right, welcome back. One issue that's become a hot topic is children who are suffering from attention uh, deficit disorder or ADD or attention deficit hyper disorder or ADHD. And Arizona counselor Jane Findelman's new book is out called Raising Human Beings, and she is here to talk about it. Welcome. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank it's you so for wonderful coming to down. be here. Yeah. Well, what is the difference between those two? ADD is attention deficit disorder and ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. The hyperactivity means that the child has a lot of trouble sitting still. That's what that means. Mm -hmm. But in my world, in the last 12 years that I've been treating ADD and ADHD without drugs within three to five counseling sessions, ADD and ADHD doesn't really exist. It's a diagnosis that was fabricated. ADD and ADHD is not a disorder. It's an adaptive response to a society that's stuck on the hamster wheel. And that's why it's so easy for me to cure it within three to five counseling sessions. Do most people say, come on, three to five counseling sessions? I mean, we got yeah. kids on drugs out there <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Most people say, come on. And I say, really, usually takes only three sessions. Doesn't usually really take five sessions. What is the key? Well, the key is presence and inspiration mm -hmm. and all the parents and understandably so are running around like chickens with their heads cut off because everybody's got most families are two uh, two job family two careers mm -hmm. mom and dad both have a career so there's not a lot of eyeball to eyeball time with the children so ADD and ADHD is really an indicator that the child is needing more of the right kind of attention and another uh, contributing factor is that the government expectations on the schools for the amount of homework and where the kids should be at any given grade are unrealistic. And so all this pressure falls down onto the teachers, which is then passed along to the parents. And instead of having family time at home with your kids in the evening, you have slave driver time where you're yelling and cajoling and forcing them to do their homework. You know, one thing I read in the book that was amazing, it says of all the children's drug-related suicide attempts that I was called out on, uh, at least 75% had overdosed on their own medications. Right. And the drugs that we give the kids, whether it's for ADD or depression or anxiety, because they have more depression and anxiety now because of the amount of homework they have to do, yeah. the tendency was, when I was a crisis counselor, that almost all of the suicide attempts were with their own drugs. And I'm seeing an alarming trend, especially in the last five years, with a lot of children, little children, grammar school aged children, um, fifth grade, fourth grade, their parents are bringing them in for counseling with anxiety attacks and suicidal ideation. And what the kids are telling me is, I, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I'm too upset that I can't get my homework done. There's something wrong with me because I can't get my homework done. So I'm thinking, I'm 46. When I was a kid, we didn't have homework until fifth grade. We had right, a little bit. Right. And then sixth grade, it kind of yeah. started. And then seventh grade, junior high, we're starting to really do homework. Well, no doubt things are much different now. Raising Humane Beans is the book, and uh, where can folks get this? At Borders Books in Phoenix, yeah. Changing Hands Bookstore. They can order it off my website, janefendelman.com. And um, someplace else I'm not thinking of, but right. call me. Call, just call me. Or Google it. That, that's Google me. Jane, yes. thank you so much. We appreciate you coming down. You're Happy so New welcome. Year. Thank, thank you, you for having much. me. All right, Tara, back to you.